This is the first in a series of videos exploring the concepts needed to answer the questions, why do some things float while others do not? And why do objects submerged in water appear to weigh less than they do when they're in the air? To step into this, we're gonna ask questions about what objects, different properties of objects. First, we need to ask, we're gonna ask a question of how much does this object weigh? Now it's labeled, but were it not labeled, the, the, the most obvious thing to do would be to take it and put it on a scale. And in this case, the scale would read 1,000 grams. So is this the answer? This, ob this the one kilogram weight weighs 1,000 grams? Is this right? No, it's wrong. In informal settings, it is common to hear the, ter the units grams or kilograms used to describe an object's weight. In a more rigorous, rigorous scientific setting, this is not an acceptable answer. Grams and kilograms are not units of weight. So if they're not units of weight, what are grams and kilograms, what do grams and kilograms measure? The answer is they are units of mass. So what is mass? Mass is the amount of stuff in an object. Seems kind of a fuzzy, fuzzy definition, but it really does capture the idea that mass is a fundamental property of matter. It does not change as an object moves from place to place. It's a fundamental property and it is the amount of matter contained in an object. It does have a more formal definition that involves describing the inertia of an object, meaning the more mass an object has, the greater its ability to resist being acted on by a force. But for the purposes of this discussion, this idea that it's just the amount of stuff in there is an appropriate way to think about mass. We've mentioned already that the metric unit of mass is the kilogram. And since kilograms and grams are very common units, it's very it's useful to be able to jump back and forth between these fairly quickly. And just remember that a kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. Of course, we have yet to answer the question we raised. Right now, we know that it, the, the answer is not that this thing has a weight of a thousand of, of thousand grams or one kilogram. But how much does this object weigh? Well, to answer it, we need to define what we mean by weight. Why does an object have weight? We know an object has mass because it has, it's made of matter, and mass is a measure of the amount of matter in an object. But why does it have weight? Well, weight is a force, and a force is a push or a pull acting on an object. In the formal definition of a force, it is an acceleration acting on the mass of an object. For weight, the acceleration is the pull of gravity acting on the mass. So we can rewrite force equals acceleration times mass to weight, the force weight equals acceleration due to gravity times the mass. So an object has weight because of the pull of gravity acting on its mass. So we're really close to being able to answer the question, but before we do, do a little bit more discussion of units. We've already discussed mass and the basic unit of mass being the kilogram. Well, gravity is an acceleration and acceleration has the units of meters per second squared. And on Earth, acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So if weight is mass times acceleration, it will have the units of kilograms meters per second squared, which is defined as the Newton, which is the metric unit for a force. We're still waiting for the answer, but now we have everything we need to answer it. So how much does this object weigh? Well, if weight equals mass times gravity, weight is one kilogram, gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. One times 9.8 equals 9.8 kilograms meters per second squared. That unit can be changed from kilograms meters per second squared to newtons. So the answer to this question is a one kilogram weight has a weight of 9.8 newtons. Can, ob can an object's weight change? Yes, 
An object's weight changes when gravity changes. Remember, mass is a fundamental property. It does not change. However, since gravity is a force, if the force acting on an object changes, its weight changes. So we've already determined that a one kilogram weight has a one kilogram object has a, a weight of 9.8 newtons. If we take that object and move it to the moon, acceleration due to gravity changes from 9.8 to 1.6 meters per second squared. Its weight becomes its mass times this new acceleration due to gravity. And we can calculate that on the moon, a one kilogram object will have a weight of 1.6 newtons. So when an object moves from, say, the Earth to the moon, its weight will change because gravity changes. Its mass remains constant. So now that we have a good understanding of what a weight of an object is and see that it is a force, we're ready to describe why weight matters when considering the buoyancy of an object and whether or not it will float.